fluffy friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to read the book when i woke up i was a hippopotamus by tom mccray and ross collins when i woke up i was a hippopotamus yawning in the morning i raised up my sleepy head then took one look out of the window and got straight back into bed Get up, said Mom, or you'll be late. But hippos in their sludge don't get up in the morning, and so I didn't budge. At breakfast, I was a robot. My tummy wasn't hungry. I wasn't programmed how to eat. My mouth was made of metal like my nose and knees and feet. Quick, quick, said Dad. Come on, eat up. We've really got to scoot. But robots can't eat cornflakes. Dad's words did not compute. When it was time to go to school, I was a statue. I couldn't move a muscle. I couldn't blink an eye. I couldn't lift a finger. I couldn't breathe a sigh. Mom pushed, then pulled. Dad pulled, then pushed. They heaved with all their might. But my legs were made of granite, and my feet were stuck down tight. When I got to school, I was a monkey, a cheeky little monkey. Thought a table was a tree. I had to climb upon it just to see what I could see. I couldn't sit and listen, and my work was rather slack. And when the teacher told me off, I told her off right back. When it was playtime, I was a monster. A squishy, scratchy monster with ten squishy, scratchy claws. I had fifty squishy, scratchy teeth and squishy, scratchy jaws. The girls all screamed. The boys all ran. My mouth went munchy crunch. Then, teacher told me off again, so I had her for my lunch. When it was time to go home, I. Was a rocket ship. I zoomed up out of orbit. Countdown: five, four, three, two, one. I was nearly reaching light speed. Poor old dad. He had to run. My pistons pumped. My jetpacks jumped. All full of super fuel. I had to get to planet home and far from planet school. When I was in my bedroom, I was a giant. My hands were huge as houses. My beard was big and blue. I was hunting for a human to put in my human stew. I was crashing round my bedroom. Well, that's just how giants play. We're big and loud and noisy. We don't know another way. But mom and dad weren't happy, and they yelled out, "Keep it down!" But my giant feet were busy as they crushed the tiny town. That's it! cried mom and dad. You're louder than ten boys, and they stomped upstairs to tell me off for making so much noise. When mom and dad came in, they were dragons. They snarled and growled and stamped and howled and nearly broke the door. Their wings caught in the curtains, and their tails scratched on the floor. Dad blew a giant smoke ring with an angry, rumbling cough. Mom wagged a scaly finger. Then they really told me off. I stared up. At my mom and dad, and didn't feel so brave. I was having fun pretending. I didn't mean to misbehave. Of all the wondrous things, said mom, that you pretend to be, why can't you be a nice thing? So I pretended I was me. We had a lovely evening. I helped my dad with tea. Then I read. My mom a story as I sat upon her knee. At bath time, we played pirates and plotted pirate schemes. Then I snuggled in my blanket and dreamed amazing dreams. The end.